Hey, welcome back. Life can get really tough from work to home to relationships, but there's an expert that says your path can be made easier. You know what? You just have to believe in yourself. It's easier said than done, yeah. though, right? Sometimes <laughs> you need somebody to remind you about that, like Dr. Simone Alicia, who runs a virtual academy where she helps her clients win in the game of life. You hear that? Trina's here to introduce us to her, Trina. Yes, yeah, she truly is the queen of self-esteem, Dr. Alicia. And she's telling everyone that, yeah, we all need a pick-me-up right now. Yeah. You all need someone to boost, really enforce that self-esteem. And so she wants everybody to do kind of a self-esteem checkup, a checkup from the neck up, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it is amazing what she abides by. Self-esteem is really all about the way we're thinking and the way we're feeling about ourselves. And every single decision we make in life is based on our self-esteem, our academic decisions, the relationships. So I think the foundation of who we are really is dependent upon us nurturing that self-esteem so we can reach the top and really express the fullest version of ourselves. It sounds like she's willing to help anybody else, anybody out, right? Uh, but but when it comes to building up, I know that she works especially a lot with women, right? Sometimes we need that extra boost. Yeah, she works with students. She works with everyone. But a lot of times women put everybody else before themselves. They put their kids before themselves. You ladies know that. Mm -hmm. They put their spouse, their partners, everyone before themselves. And so then sometimes they don't really feed into their aspirations and inspirations and desires. So she really likes to work with ladies and really push them toward being their best. So one of the things that I think people haven't really realized is the power of journaling, the power of our inner voice, the self-talk. And a lot of that goes around things we've heard before, like affirmations, but specific ways we can do our affirmations to make them really matter and really count. Journaling, start your day releasing that negativity, setting some intentions and giving yourself some guidelines for the day. And as you're going to bed, maybe getting into a little meditation, little, listening to relaxing music, and again, journaling to release some of that stress from the day and really getting yourself in state so that you can really live the fullest life possible. So those are my, my big tips for now is journal, do those affirmations, watch that self-talk and really believe that you can do it. I feel pumped up just listening to her. <laughs> and, and Dr. Alicia, her academy is at the selfesteemdoctor.com and she has students really from all over the world, all over the globe and any age anyone but again she does like to focus on women and you can go on her website and check out all she has to offer and you can also plug into her resources and also tap into you know everything she has to boost your confidence one-on-one -on -one -one with her as well i love that she says I, we're just giving people the steps that they need in this virtual camp because when you listen to the advice it all kind of sounds like we've heard this before, right? But then putting it into motion, putting it into place, that's the tougher part. <laughs> having someone help you reinforce it and keep you on yes. track with it, you know, to have a plan. Yeah, that accountability, right? <laughs> exactly. It's somebody to check with. And maybe start one thing at a time. I've been wanting to get into this journaling stuff. So I keep hearing about it, like Dr. Lisa just said. So let's start that together. We're going to buy her a journal. Let's buy her a diary. <laughs> yes, let's do it. You can even We're do it digitally. It. Penzu.com, you can do it digitally and easy as pie. You don't even have to use anything to write with. Okay, so. Roxy. I, I have a journal in my purse so somebody will find it <laughs> in the depths of my purse. Middle school, probably. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> All right. See, see you, ladies. Thanks.